What you guys, today we're looking at upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 10 LTSC without losing any of your data. So normally, officially, you can't upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 10 LTSC using the in-place upgrade. But you can see on this system, we have a Windows 10 Pro Edition. And I'm going to show you how we can go from Windows 10 Pro 22H2 to Windows 10 LTSC. 2021 and it's pretty straightforward so you can see here officially you can't directly upgrade from any version of windows 10 to windows 10 ltsc so when you mount your iso and click on the setup fold to do an in-place upgrade i'll show you what will happen if you try and do it uh, inside windows 10 pro without the tweaks that i'm going to show you you can do to try and bypass this method so if you've got a Windows 10 system and you want to keep all your programs and your uh, data, then you can, but you're going to have to go into the registry and make some tweaks. But you can see here Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE, and we can click Next. And you can see here using an in-place upgrade won't let you keep your apps and files uh, like this. You can see it's grayed out. So what's going to happen is you might as well do a fresh install at this stage if you wanted to use this method. Again, you are best to do a fresh install anyway with Windows 10 LTSC, but if you want to do an in-place upgrade, I'll show you how you can do it. So type reg edit and open up the registry editor here. From here, we need to navigate to this location you see on the screen. So you need to open up the registry editor and go to HKey local machine. And then we want to go down to software, open this one up right here. And then from here, we want to go to Microsoft. So click on Microsoft here and then Windows NT. So that will be all the way down where the W's are. There we go. So you can see it right there. So just click on Windows NT. And from there, we want to go to current version. So let's click on this one right here. Now, once we click on this, on the right hand pane, uh, this is the path right here. So on the right hand pane, we need to make some changes so we can trick Windows into thinking that we have Windows 10 LTSC. So in this one right here, where it says composition edition ID, you need to put a capital S on the end of enterprise there. Next, current build. Obviously, this is not the build that we're going to be using, so we need to change this and change the 5 to a 4. So it should be 19044. Click OK. And we can move on down to the next one, which is below this one here, saying current build. Let me just open this up. Current build number. And we need to change this number right here to 19044. Click OK. And now we're going to need to make some more changes. So display version, and we need to change this. You can see it says 22H2. We're going to be installing 21H2 because that's the Windows uh, 10 LTSE version that gives you uh, to 2029. So click 21H2 there. Under the ID or edition ID here where it says professional, we need to change this to enterprise S. So just like this, capital S on the end of enterprise. And that's important. You need to make sure that does that. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, so we've got one more down here saying product name. And we need to change this from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 2021. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 2021, because that's the version that we're trying to install on this system. There's one more we can do here, which is release ID. And you can see that's set to 2009. So we need to check this one, double click on it and go here. And we're going to be putting in here 21H2 in here, because that's the version that we're going to be installing. So click OK. And we should now have all of these uh, done. I've highlighted them on the screen so you can see, so you can pause the video and write those down. But once that's done, we can now right click and mount our ISO. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to quickly close off the registry. And now we can mount our ISO here. Go back into the folder and click Setup. 
Now we can use an in-place upgrade and this should now let us keep all of our apps and all of our data. So once this opens up, it should say install Windows 10. So let's go ahead and click next. And now it's gonna check for updates. So I'll speed this little process up so we can get to the next step. And once it's checked for some updates, it should restart the actual application here. It's gonna check your PC. It's gonna get a few things ready, accept the terms conditions. It's gonna get a few more updates. So let me just speed that part up. And once that's done, it should go on to the next stage where we can choose. So I'm just going to let that finish off here. It's just going to make sure you're ready to install uh, this upgrade. So let's go ahead and wait. And then once this is done, we should be able to move on to the next stage. So it says, what needs your attention? Click OK. And there we go, ready to install. Now I could click install here, but I'm just going to show you. Now we have keep personal files and apps the grayed out part is now gone, so we can now click on next. And from here, it's going to check for updates again because we reset it, basically. If I didn't click on that and just clicked install, it will continue with the install. So make sure you don't click change on what's to keep now. It says right there, keep your personal files and apps. You don't need to click on it. And once that's done, we can click on install. And this will install the Windows 10 on our system. So let me just quickly uh, speed this process up so you're not sitting here watching the whole installation process. And that would be rather boring. So I'm just gonna speed this process up and get to the next phase of the install. And I'll speed this up right here. And you should see it getting to this stage right here where it says almost there. And now you should have the desktop up. And you can see all of our data is on the desktop and our applications are still installed here. And we can now go to settings. You will lose your activation because it's a different version of Windows. So you will have to get yourself a key. If we go to the about page, you can see we do have Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC with version 21 H2 installed on this system. And again, you will need to reactivate this version of Windows because it is different to Windows 10 Pro. Now, let me answer two questions I see quite a lot coming up in the comments section and also on forums and places like that, like Reddit. First one is, where do you get the ISO file from? Well, you're not going to be able to download this directly from Microsoft because they don't offer that unless you have signed up to their uh, licensing program for this. And it's normally volume licensing that these versions of Windows are for. So unless you've got that signed up, you're not going to be able to download it from Microsoft. You will need to source your own ISO file and there's plenty of them out there. The problem with that is, is you need to make sure that they are the legitimate version from Microsoft. If they've been tampered with, it's a risk to you. So where you source your ISO from is entirely up to you. The second question I get quite a lot is where do I get the license key from? Unfortunately, like I said, a lot of this stuff is based on uh, business level and it's going to be volume licensing so if you do see sites out there where you can purchase these pretty cheap be very very careful because these keys could be volume underscore mac keys mak keys which we call multi-activation keys these keys are not tied to you they're tied to a business or a company and they are multi-activation and this is not what you need these are not legit keys you need to have a retail key or an OEM key. These are the keys you want to get. And whether you can get those from those sites is another question. So I'll make a video showing uh, the activation and what that means, and I'll show you exactly. Now, whether you get this from another place on the internet, I'm not going to mention it. That's up to you. But anyway, that's basically it. So I hope this helps you out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Also, uh, join our Discord server. The link is in the video description if you've got any questions. And I shall catch you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.